I decided to focus on another area of the world of mathematics called nursing math. And I noticed that nurses really have a hard time dealing with math issues. So I just came up with this idea of basically uh, including the nursing math program in my mathematics projects. So today we're just going to do a few mathematics skills review. And our objective basically is just to review the notions of Roman numerals and rounding decimals before we go any further in the nursing math field. So, All we need to memorize actually is pretty much all the numbers that are written made on the table. So from Arabic numeral we have the number one and in the Roman numeral we just put one eye, two, two eyes, three, three eyes, four, I and a V, five it's a V, a six is a V and a I, seven it's a V and two eyes, eight it's a V and three eyes, nine it's I and X, ten is X, twenty is two X, forty is X and L, fifty is a L, a hundred is a C, thousand is a B, it's a M. But this table it's a must you need to memorize this table in order to you know practice. I mean you need to memorize this table and practice a lot in order to you know be able to write in Roman numerals because I don't know much about nursing because I never studied nursing and I think this is pretty much something that sometimes you people deal with on a daily basis and it's, it's very important to be quick to be fast in this Roman numeral business. The largest value numeral is on the left and the smallest value numeral is on the right. This is straightforward. I don't need to explain further. Those two examples will will, will get clear. So X and V. We notice that X oh sorry, I said in the French way. X V. Uh we notice that X is a ten and V is a five. So 10 is larger than the 5, so what we do is at 10 and the 5, you get a 15. XXV, we have XX, which is 20, and then the V is a 5, so it's 25. Basically, what I did was just took the values from the table and I translated them into numbers. And from there, that's how I get the Roman numbers. Turns, that's how I was able to translate the Roman numerals from the Roman numerals to Arab numerals. We know that the i is smaller than the x, so basically we have to subtract 10 minus 1, and the i in the x is practically 9. I and the V, we know that the V is larger than the I, so we subtract 5 minus 1, which is 4. And once again, this is from the table from Arabic numerals to Roman numerals. The values are or in the are on either side. Example, we have a x, i, and a v. So we focus on the large on the last two pieces here. So we have i and the v. We know that the smallest value is on the left. That means we'll subtract the v, which was five, from the i, which is one. So we got five minus one. And we add the x, which is 10. We got 5 minus 1 plus 10, which is equal to 4 plus 10, equal 14. 
second case we have i and x we know this is the i is the smallest value that is on the left so we subtract 10 from 1 we got a 9 and then we add another 10 19 The thousands is pretty much a very rare case, but still, once you understand how to round it up with the tens, the hundreds, the thousands is basically the same thing. To illustrate this, we need to round 36.315 to the nearest hundred. First, then we put the bracket on the number that is in the hundredth place. You, what I mean by the hundredth place is the second number that is right on the decimal point. For example, on the 36.315 case, we will put the bracket on the 1. So that's how we will get this scenario. Next step is to look at the number to the right of the bracket. For 36.315, this number will be 5. So 5 is next to the bracket. And here are two cases. If the number to the right of the bracket is less than 5, we just drop the number and leave the number on the bracket as it is. If the number is 5, meaning if it is equal to 5 or greater than 5, then we increase the number in the bracket by 1. So this case follows more the second theory. So therefore, the rounded off number of 36.315 is 36.32. So that's basically our round of decimals. How to transfer from Arabic numerals to Roman numerals and vice versa, and also to round off decimals. I will be coming up with uh, another video about practice examples about these two notions so that you guys can have a better understanding of the lecture. Because we, basically, in mathematics, it's good to do a lecture, but it's better to understand the lecture if we practice it first. With no practice, you won't be able to master these two concepts. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch us today on MathWiz. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share those videos. And once again, if you have any questions or any comments or concerns, please feel free to message me on Facebook, Twitter, on Instagram. Or you can also send me a private email and I will reply to you promptly. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.